Hey guys, so we're going to pick off with where we left off with device from the last video. Now in the last video we did Rails generate device install and we generated the device or person which is our model and we did some migrations with the migrations that were generated from device. And in this video we're going to go through these steps in order to ensure that we have everything properly set up. So let's look at the first step. So the first step really is telling us to just check our development.rb file and make sure that our config action mailer is set to localhost port 3000. So let's just go ahead and check that. So we would want to go to development.rb and we want to go check our action mailer. So our action mailer, let's see what we're, we're supposed to search for action mailer, mailer default URL options. So we're just going to copy that for now. And let's just paste that here. So you can see that it's not in this file. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pop it in somewhere. Let's just give this a comment, say device section. And we're just going to pop it in here for now. And you can see that in production, your host should be set to the actual host of your application, right? So number two, ensure you have a defined root URL or something in your config slash roots.rb. So that's basically asking you that to ensure that you have a root, which we do have. It's root catalogs index. So that's really fine. The next one is to ensure that we have flash messages in our layouts application.html.erb file. So if we go to our application.html.erb file, then we indeed do have that set up. And you can see that here. So lines 13 to 15 would pretty much uh, help fix that, uh, fix that, fix that instruction. So number three is satisfied by lines 13 to 13 to 15. Now if, number four, if you're deploying on Heroku with Rails 3.2, you might want to set this. We don't want to talk about that right now. So actually, that's a rather easy easy setup. So we'll just go ahead and check that. And if we're deploying Heroku with Rails 3.2 only, well, we're not doing Rails 3.2, so we could skip that. And number five, you, you can copy device views to your app by running Rails generate device views. So that is something that we'll do at a later point. But right now, I just wanted to show you guys that the steps we followed pretty much helps us get set up. So now what we'll do is we'll go to our model and we'll go to org person. And again, I just want to go through and do a little review with you guys to tell you that this, these symbols are pretty much representing what we could do with device. We could authenticate, we can register, we can confirm an account, recover lost passwords, and validate uh, validate data, all that sorts of stuff. So that's the things that we could do with device right now. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go check our application controller. So go to our application controller and there are some specific changes that we have to do here. Specifically, we have to change our scalar values. So what that means is that in our app, we're going to accept things other than their email and their password. Or I should say that we're going to accept some things like first name and last name. Those are some more things that we want to collect from the user when they first sign up with our app. So that's what we're going to do. This configure permitted parameters pretty much permits custom attributes to be verified as attributes permitted by the form. So it pretty much allows the user to to submit a form with their first name and last name filled in. If you don't have this set up, then that form will come come over here with errors. So you really need this this uh, function. And to call this function before when before you sign up, you would have to run this function. So that's why we have this before action. This would call this function if, if um, or this would call this function when, when the user is first signing up to make sure that the first name and last name fields that they filled in are permitted. 
And that's pretty much all I want to go through in this video. It's a pretty short video, and I want to keep it that way. So look forward to the next video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.